Welcome to episode 10 of me trying to play USA Monopoly in real life. So far, I have been to Dallas, Orlando, LA, Seattle, Hawaii. Where else have I been, Tom? Vegas, baby. New Orleans. And now I am in Washington, DC, and the White House is literally there. It's time now to get the board out and roll the dice. But the problem is, the board is in my bag, which is in Tom's car. So we're gonna head to Tom's car now and get the board. The thing is though, I haven't booked a hotel tonight, have you? Nope. You're obviously staying tonight. Yes, that is correct. I've not even asked you. <laughs> I kind of invited myself, but yes, I am. <laughs> So what we'll do, we'll book a hotel now, yep. on the way to the car, okay. we'll get the stuff from the car, go to the hotel, open the board out, roll, and see what the plan is from there. That works for me. Sweet, happy days, let's get a hotel booked. Let's do it. Right, Tommy boy, what do you think of this hotel? Works for me. It's not far, it's not too expensive. As long as they don't have bed bugs, I'm down. Right, I'm booking it, <laughs> I'm booking it. Right, hotel booked, we're gonna get our stuff now, and get to this hotel, mate. Right, here we go, mate. Right, this is the hotel just up here. Tom over here has come on holiday for a month. Woo. Mate, what are you doing with all that? What is actually in there? Have I'm you brought like, the kitchen sink? My PS5, don't <laughs> leave home without it. <laughs> right, this is the hotel here. It actually looks pretty decent, this, yeah, mate. No, it really does. I think we've made a good choice. How's Big Deb getting on? Big Deb's tired. Big Deb is knackered. It's been a long day between flying and walking all day. I don't know how you do it. Mate, I cannot wait to get checked in here. Hey, how's it going? Can I check in, please? Yes, sir, last name? Uh, Simon Wilson. Your room is on the 15th floor. Once you're up there, follow the signs for the penthouse rooms and you're at penthouse 57. Penthouse room, check that out. Thanks for the upgrade, I appreciate it. Well, I'm checking in too. <laughs> I did get a notification of an upgrade, but probably not the penthouse. Like <laughs> but we do have the upgrade to a deluxe double. No penthouses? Still uh, still <laughs> still Whatever, don't try to, don't try to. Your and your room is on the ninth floor. <laughs> Thank you so much, really appreciate it. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, thanks very much. Oh, what do you think of me little cheeky upgrade, mate? And I was, I, I was gonna, I was gonna brag about, hey, they upgraded my room. Oh. <laughs> mate, can you believe it? No. He's <laughs> fuming. He's fuming. Can I check into your room? Mate, three penthouse upgrade. There you go. 15, top floor. How? Like, how? how? <laughs> I guess I'm not bougie enough. <laughs> this guy gets the penthouse. <laughs> yeah, how did I get that? I'm down on like the basement with the janitors and this guy's <laughs> in the damn penthouse. Right, here we go, top floor. Where is it? To the left. To the left, sweet. Oh, mate. Shut up, you're in the what? This ain't fair, man. I'm, I'm done. This is ridiculous. Mate, I've got the Washington penthouse 57. Is this gonna be any good? <laughs> Nay, oh. I've got a six seater dining up. table. Oh my god, <laughs> you have a kitchen and a dining room. The bed's in the dining room oh. though. Oh. Are you ready for this? Uh. Do the honors, mate. This is the world famous Monopoly board right here. That's traveled all over the US. Chance cards, give them a shuffle, mate, and then put them there. And then there's the community chest for you to verify that. Give yep. them a shuffle. Community chest being shuffled. There's your dice. And that is the McDonald's fry. This is the world famous McDonald's fry thimble. Right, put that on where we are now. On Washington DC, yeah? Happy with that? Yep, yep. Right, get the dice. There's a 50% chance that this game has ended here. Because looking at this now, you can't roll a one, so that's out of the question. A chance is a double, so you can't roll that. So we've got Fenway Park, Boston. We've got a credit card. We've got New York Times Square, or we've got pass go. Mate, if we pass go, the game's over. I'm doing one lap of the board, that's it. No pressure, right? No pressure. So Looking at it, I started in Boston. If you could send me back to Boston, <laughs> I'd actually quite like that. So if you could roll me a three, I can finish in Boston. All right, here we go, here we go. I can Come feel on, it, Tom. I can feel it. It's all in the fingers, it's all in the fingers. No <laughs> eyes, no eyes. Mate! A oh, <laughs> You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> right, move it. One, two, three, four, and five. Times Square, New York. You can't write this. You can't write it. 
Oh my god. Well, at least New York's not on the west coast, mate. No, oh my god. At least it's only up the road. This son of a could have went back to Boston, but he went to New York instead. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so my next destination is Times Square, New York. First question is, what's your plan? Do you want to come with me? There's a beer sh in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> no, genuinely, I'm going to probably head there tomorrow. Obviously, I'll see what the situation is with flights and stuff. You're more than welcome to come. I got to check with the boss lady, you know, make sure... Yeah, okay, no, honestly, know. give Amy a ring, see what's what. But, but you're welcome to come with me if you want. Oh my god, Simon, that is... Dude, thank you so much. If she says okay... New York City tomorrow, buddy. I can't believe I'm going to New York, but I'm just so glad it's up the road. How far is New York from here? It's not far. By car, you're looking at probably like six hours. Okay, we're definitely not car. doing that. To be honest, the train will ah, probably... Train. Yeah, That's a good shout. Because the train will probably be quicker than the plane, because by the time you get to the airport, you got to get there two hours before all that. You get on the train, and you're there in like three hours. Is it Amtrak? Yeah, Amtrak. Mate, they're literally every half hour. And it's probably the same price as a flight as well. Yeah, three hours, 30 minutes. And on the trains, you don't have to go through all that security. You just get on the train and go. Yeah, I think you've got to book them, though. There's a train here, mate. 8.22 a.m., getting in for midday, 11.59. Honestly, like, don't feel like you've got to. I would love you to come, though, but I'll get the train. I'll sort the train for us. Do you want to do it? Let's do it. I've never been in New York City, so... What a better chance. You've never been in New York? I didn't, yeah, I have never been to Mate, New you York are City. winding me up. You've never been in New no, York City? Oh my God, that. this has made it 10 times better. Mate, <laughs> we are taking Tom to Times Square. Right, I'm booking this train now, 8.22. It's not cheap, $160 per person. So the flight's gonna be the same anyway, and it's three hours. Right, let's do this, I'm booking it. We're going to New York tomorrow. Boom, that's done, mate. 8.22, we're leaving from Union Station. What time do we need to meet up in the morning? Probably about seven o'clock. Seven o'clock downstairs, and then we'll head over to the train station, yeah? Yep, New York. Enjoy your room, mate. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. It's been a great day. Mate, a blast. what a day. Have a good night's sleep. All right, take care, And Simon. I'll see you downstairs, take seven o'clock, yeah? Seven o'clock. Look after yourself. See you later, mate. Right, I'm gonna head straight to bed because I need an early night. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the morning. Morning, 6.18 a.m. The train is in two hours. Oh my God, it's the last day. I can't believe it. Right, let's get up. I'm gonna go and give Tom a knock. I sort of kind of fell back asleep. Time now, 7.17, so I've got an hour to the train. I'm just gonna go and get Tom out of his room now. I am so happy I'm not flying today. Oh. Room 911, where is he? Here he is. Morning! <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I think I literally said that. that Mate, is. you weren't lying when you said you brought your PS5. Oh, absolutely, 100%. Do you travel with your PS5 everywhere? I don't leave home without it. Please tell me you play FIFA. I did, I had a free trial. Mate, I thought you were joking when you said you brought your PS5. <laughs> so. Mate, look at this t-shirt. We had Big Deb yesterday. I'm not fat, I'm fluffy. <laughs> You do choose it, mate. Yeah, yeah, I am known for my shirts. You got everything? Yep, yep. Let's make a move. Are we walking to the station or are we taxiing uh, it? Absolutely not. I cannot feel my toes <laughs> or the bottom of my feet. After for yesterday. Mate, how much walking did we do yesterday? I would say at least four to five miles. Yeah, you came prepared in sneakers, but the flip-flops was not a good idea, so I came prepared today with the sneakers. There he is. Are you looking forward to New York, mate? I am. I'm not looking forward to the rainy weather, but... Is it raining there? Yeah. It's oh, raining. you're joking. I'm not checking the forecast. All day. Cold and rainy, so... Are you winding me up? I am not looking forward to getting drenched today, mate. <laughs> oh my god. Is it giving it that bad? Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's yep. not good. Can I check out of PH57, please? Mr. Wilson, correct? Yeah, that's all. Yeah, amazing. Thanks so much. Perfect. Thanks very much. Have a good one. Mate, I think this is the first time on this challenge I've come outside and it's actually light. Every time <laughs> I start a video, it is literally pitch black. <laughs> How much is it to go to Union Station? Maybe around 15. Ah, okay, cool. Thanks very much. Is it far from here? A little bit, not far. 10 minutes, perfect. Yeah. Thanks so much, mate. Thank you. Ready for an adventure, mate? Yes, I am. I can't <laughs> believe you've never been to New York. What do you expect? 
good food, want to see some sights, maybe Times Square, who knows? <laughs> oh man, I have to go to Times Square. There would be no other person better to go to New York City with than Simon Wilson. So. Appreciate that, mate. Yes, sir, absolutely. Likewise. I'm not just saying. Mate, I can't believe we're going together today. I don't know how you did this for two weeks straight. Imagine going to get 6 a.m. flights in the morning, getting up at half three. And because of the jet lag and the time difference, like Ooh. getting like an hour or two hours sleep. Oh my God. But you know what? You look back to that no money challenge. How did I do that? I honestly couldn't you know tell what? That's you. A good, that's a good point. To be honest, I'd pick this challenge over that any day. How are you today, mate? You had a busy Hi. morning? No, I just arrived the first. Ah, the first? Yeah. Where are you from? Ethiopia. Ethiopia, nice. Yes. How long have you been in the US? 20 years. 20 years? Yes. Wow. Do you like it here? I like it. Here. Do you prefer Ethiopia or the US? I want here. Ah, you prefer US? Because it's not peaceful there. Is it not peaceful there, no? They kidnap you or they will kill you. If they hold me, they ask me around 40, 50,000. If yeah. I didn't pay, they cut off my neck. I take a lot of this stuff here for granted, you know? I know, mate. You don't realize what goes on places. It's so sad. How long is this train, mate? About like three and a half hours. That should go pretty quick, though, shouldn't it? Is this us now? Yeah. Thanks, nice sir. to meet you. Have a good yeah, one. Nice talking. Thanks. Sir. See you later. Thanks. Have a good one. Well, I can safely say I've never seen a train station like this before. Mate, it looks like something from Rome. Right, we need to figure out where we're going, what platform. There must be a board. Ah, the board's here, let's have a look. Right, which one's us? 822 Northeast Regional to New York, it's on time. Gate D14. Mate, have you seen a state of this line? Oh my god. When was the last time you uh, rode on Amtrak? Flipping out, probably the last time I saw you. <laughs> Here we go, a proper American train. We'll jump on here. This is nice. I know, it's not too shabby, this is it. Listen, this is a coach. I know, this is economy. We're just leaving the station now. Just check, this train is three hours, 37 minutes. I don't know how many stops it's got. A lot. The ticket. It actually feels really nice to be on a train. Yeah, I was going to say, this is one of actually have a ticket. Next stop, our final destination, New York City. Just pulling up in Philadelphia. What do you reckon? Quick stop, get a Philly cheesesteak. I can eat a Philly cheesesteak now. As well. <laughs> I would love to. No Philly cheesesteak for today, unfortunately. We're just coming into New York and we've stopped. We are currently not moving, and I'll be honest, this train's hell. Okay. We should have been into New York, what, 20 minutes ago now? Hopefully we get in there soon. It is East. pouring outside. Yeah. Look at this weather. That looks so miserable out there, mate. You've picked a great day to come oh, to New yeah, York City. Wonderful. That's what I get for rolling a five. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're moving again. We're underground. So I'm guessing we're coming into New York now, yep, yep. mate. What the hell you got in this thing? A pound of bricks or something? I mean, Jesus. You've been walking around with that this whole time? Yeah. That thing is heavy. Mate, I am so happy we're here. Whose great idea was it to take the train? <coughs> oh, I wonder who's. <laughs> oh, let's get the train, let's not fly. Last time I'm listening to you. Finally, we are in New York City. Are you ready for this, mate? How are you feeling? First time in New York. I can't wait to see Times Square. I know, it's going to be class. Everything I can't believe you've there. never been before. I've been to a lot of big cities. This is not one of them. Penn really Station. Right, let's get moving. I can see daylight. Yeah. There it is. And here we have it. New York City. You can see the yellow taxis already. First impressions, mate? It smells like New York City. And the traffic is absolutely nuts. I don't even know where to start here. The rain is really bad, so I definitely need to get a brolly over this camera. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I'm getting soaked here. I haven't got a clue where we are, though. Is We're it just surrounded by big buildings. Tom's first sighting of the Empire State in the back. What's your thoughts, mate? We don't have buildings like this in North Carolina, I'll tell you that. Where do you want to start, mate? What do you fancy doing first? I've always wanted to go to the 9-11 Memorial, so if you're down for that. Mate, 100%. I reckon we get a taxi, though, because this weather's horrendous. Yes, I agree. Let's try and flag him down. Not having any of it. Another yellow taxi? No? Is he free? No? Free? No? We're not having much luck here. Yeah, mate, there's a line of taxis here. Let's jump in one of these. 
How's it going, man? Get a taxi. Awesome. Thanks so much. <laughs> Have a good one. See you later. Hey, how are you, mate? Can we go to the 9-11 memorial site, please? Sure. Cheers, man. How long is it to the 9-11 memorial? Family waiting for us. 15 minutes? Ah, it's not too bad. Sure could use an umbrella right about now. What are you guys calling an umbrella? Umbrella, we call it a brolly. A brolly? Yeah, you say like Chuck is your brolly. What the hell? But you push a trolley. No, it's a tr that's a trolley. Right, right. That's a brolly. Man, you guys need to take some English lessons. Mate, you've that. never heard of a brolly before. I've heard of an umbrella. No, a brolly. I've heard of a brothel. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I want you to go in the store and ask for a brolly and see what you get. Yeah, I will do. Oh, absolutely. I'll say, excuse me, I'll get two brollies. I'll pay for whatever they give you. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I'll do that, no problem. You can just drop us off here, mate. What's the damage? 2520. Not too much damage for New York City. Has that gone through? Yeah. Perfect. Thanks so much, mate. Lovely to meet you. Have a good one. <laughs> Tom, you never been in a taxi? <laughs> God, dude, look at how big. You can't even see the top of that. I know. There you go. World Trade Center 1. You can't even see the top of it because of the weather. In New York! <laughs> what do you want to do first, mate? Do you want to go over to where the towers were? Yes. Or? Oh, my gosh. I can't believe we're actually here. I know. Such a sacred place. This is real, man. These are the names of everybody that died. You've got this one over here, and I think there's another one over there as well. Yes, there is. Where the, there's where two, two of them, isn't there? Yeah. They did this right, but this is very sad. Two massive structures once stood here and then it's not here anymore. Kind of puts everything into perspective, you know? I tell you what, I am getting absolutely drenched here. Yeah, man, we really need to go ahead and get you a brolly quick. No, a brolly. Brolly, brolly, brolly. No, honestly though, I don't yeah. think this camera is going to survive no, this. here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, we got is he selling right brollies over here? Do they sell brollies here? I've got a feeling they don't. Look at this weather. Excuse me. Can I get two brollies, please? What? Brollies. What's that? An umbrella. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, she didn't know what a Thank brolly is. Thank you very is. much. What are the biggest umbrellas you have? This one here. Ah, okay, cool. Do you only have one left, or? It looks like a yeah. One, bro. Okay, okay you sure? One. I'll take this one, and I'll take a smaller one. It's gonna be eighty-seven oh five. Eighty dollars for an umbrella. Yes. This one's fifty-four, and this one's twenty-seven. Ah, okay. All together after oh. tax. Wow. Cheers for rolling it's a five. A <laughs> Cheers for rolling a five, mate. Thanks so much. Thank you for thank my you, most right? expensive. Yeah, no worries. Ever. Cheers, thank you. Eighty dollars for two umbrellas. <laughs> mate. I'm glad she didn't know what she said because I would have had to pay for it. <laughs> mate. That's the most expensive umbrella I've ever seen. And it comes with mate, flowers. This umbrella was dearer than the Amtrak ticket. <laughs> We're just coming to the second memorial now. It's crazy how big they are, isn't it? This is much bigger in person than what I thought. Really? Yeah. Is it? Man, honestly, if anybody ever gets a chance to come here, they need to come here and see this. Cause... Yeah, for sure. How many people actually died in the Twin Towers? Uh, between the Twin Towers and the Fire Department Police, it was over 3,000 people that was passed it? away in New 3, York City. 3,000? Not to mention the people that died in uh, Washington, D.C., uh, where we just had at the Pentagon, and then in Pennsylvania as well. Yeah. So, uh, a lot of people died senselessly. Yeah, Very insane. Sad. This is the second memorial where the other tower was. And here, Flight 77, and these are all the people that were on it. So sad to see, isn't it, mate? It really is. This is beautiful, what they did to honor the people that passed away. They did it right. This looks nice. And the fact that they built the new World Trade Center right next to this one really says something, too. That's a beautiful building overlooking the memorial right here. What were you doing on 9-11 when it happened? I was actually in the Army. I was stationed at Fort Bragg, and I remember watching it on TV. And shortly thereafter, they started walking the base down where you couldn't get in really? and, and ever since then you can't get into a military base you got to go through inspections and you got to have permits to if you're in the military they give you a placard to go in or uh, visitors but you can't just freely get into a military base like you did before 9-11 yeah where was Fort Bragg which part uh, of the country North, North Carolina was it in North Carolina right yeah but at that time I was just about to get out so I was never called up but shortly after that, everybody was getting deployed left and right. So Fort Bragg was becoming a ghost town. Deployed where? Originally to Iraq. That's when it first happened. And then we made our way into Afghanistan after uh, Osama. But the first was Iraq. They got Saddam. And but you they... never got, you left before everybody yeah, started I, going? 
Yeah, but then I went back into the reserves in 2004, and I got deployed overseas, and I was in Kuwait for uh, ten and a half months. No way. It averaged about 124 degrees there every day. Brutal, brutal. Jeez. I reckon we go and get some food somewhere, mate. Yes. Get somewhere dry for a minute. Yes. I'm starving. Dry. We've not eaten today. We have not. That's unusual. <laughs> Very unusual. Any recommendations on food? Yeah, actually, there's a really cool sandwich place here in New York City that's a uh, staple. I think we should go give it a try. What's it called? Cat's Deli. Cat's Deli. How have you heard about that then, if you've not been here? YouTube, my friend. YouTube. Really? Yeah. We've You'd seen it on YouTube. Who you, who you see and what you find No way. Oh my God, my feet are like squelching. They're soaked. My feet are literally soaked oh. through. This is horrendous. Yeah, this mate, let's head to this cat's yeah, corner yeah. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly. mate, honestly, there's water coming out of my shoes. It's not even going in anymore. The rain's eased up a bit. So we've put the brollies down. We're just coming to a place now that Tom's recommended. Is this it here? Yeah. Mate, there's a massive line. Look at the state of this line. It starts up there and it comes all the way down here. Let me ask the guy how long this is going to take. Sorry, mate, how long is this 20, queue? 20, 30 minute line, boss. 20, nothing, 30 minutes. Nothing moving fast. No worries, man. Thank you. It's not too bad. I just asked the guy, he said 20, 30 minutes. Nah, that's not bad. This is what this place is called, though. It's called Cat's Delicatessen. Apparently, it's the best sandwich in town. We're going to find out. That's what you've heard. And the line is moving. If you want a table with a waiter, go straight to the back. Cheers, thanks. Mate. It is rammed in here to think it's a sandwich shop. Mate, this place has to be amazing. Look how busy it is in here. It's rammed. I've never been in a sandwich shop that you can't even move in. Have you been in here before? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Is it normally this busy? Or? This is probably the busiest I've seen it. Really? It's surprising given how rainy it is. I know, I thought that. I've got to say, this place looks super cool. Again, like the place yesterday, loads of like pictures on the walls, loads of signs on the walls, like proper American vibe in here, isn't it? How many people do you reckon are working in here now? There's got to be at least 100 people working in here. Oh, wow, where's he taking us here? Are we going in the back room here? Amazing. Thanks so much, man. Cheers, guys. Cheers, mate. Right, let's have a look what's on this menu. Mate, this place has been here since 1888. Wow. Mate, this menu's ridiculous. What have we got? Cat's pastrami, cat's brisket. What are you going to go for, mate? You got to get the pastrami. That brisket looks good, though, as well. Uh, thanks very much, mate. What do you recommend? Uh, really? Okay, what's yeah, the yeah. brisket like as well? One has one, one has the yeah. other, and you go half and half. Okay, cool. We'll do one pastrami, one brisket, please, mate. Okay. Is is there anything else you recommend here? The potato lockers, that's a nice appetizer. It's like three potato pancakes. Can we get some fries as well? You got it, my brother. Thank you, man. Mate, I am looking forward to this. You just wait. You you don't know, I know, but you don't know the sandwich you're about to get. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh my god. Brisket, pastrami, fries, and then the latkes will be on the couple minutes. Wow. Thanks so much, mate. Appreciate it. Mate, what the hell? Look how thick that is. My mate, god. that looks ridiculous. This is legit a pound. Oh my god. Bottoms up. How was that? Oh. Is it that good? Best sandwich ever. Those are potato lattes. Awesome. Enjoy, guys. Thanks so much, man. Thank you. Right, let's give this a go, mate. Excuse me. Are you Sam Wilson? I am. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you? Can you take a picture? Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is the best sandwich I've ever had. Mate, that's even better than my mum's sandwich. Let's try this one. Have you tried the brisket one? No. Oh, man. That. It's next level. Do you know what though? I think I prefer the pastrami one. I swear to God, these are the best sandwiches I have ever had in my life. What's the verdict, mate? 10 out of 10. Pastrami was definitely better oh, than yeah, the brisket, wasn't it? Yeah. If you come to New York, you have got to come to this place. It is ridiculous. What's for dessert? What do you recommend for dessert? The cheesecake is top dog. I'm going to get the top dog cheesecake. Here it goes. Amazing. Thanks so much, mate. The New York cheesecake. Mate, that is ridiculous. That's amazing. That is ridiculous. Thanks so much, mate. Really appreciate it. Cheers, mate. Some place this, mate. Those salami sandwiches. Oh my god. Awesome. Thanks very much, mate. Have a good one. I actually love this place, and I'm sad that I probably won't be coming back very soon. Cheers. Thanks very much, mate. Have a good one. See you later. Cheers. Thanks. 
Mate, I've got to say, what a shout that was. <laughs> Every credit is, pick some food spots, this man. <laughs> you nailed it in Washington and you've nailed it in New York. Awesome. What a way to end it, though. Mate, what a way to end it. Yes. Right, as you can see, the weather is still horrendous. It is. And New York is just not walkable. No. So what should we do now? Do you fancy heading to Times Square now? Might as well. Let's have a look how far it is. I can't see it being walking distance, so can you? 2.3 miles, okay, that's not happening. Mate, it's a 27 minute drive. If we were to walk, it would be an hour and one minute. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not doing that. Right, we need to get a yellow cab now then. Should we go back to the main road I over here? Yeah. Try and get a yellow cab to Times Square. It's gotta be a yellow cab here somewhere, surely. Taxi, is he? Nah, he's taken. We're not having much luck here, Tom. Is it worth going the block down? Why not? Taxi, is this guy free? No? Yeah, he might be, if he's dropping someone off. Hey, how's it going? Can we jump in, mate? Can we go to Times Square, please, mate? Excuse me, mate, we'll jump out with you. We close, right? Just yeah, up there? Okay. I tell you what, mate, this has been some challenge. Boston, Dallas, Orlando, LA, no money, Seattle, Hawaii, New Orleans, Vegas, DC, and now New York. How are you walking at this point? Mate, honestly, I don't know. That's 10 states. That takes my tally of states up to 35 states. So I've still got 15 to go. I live here and I haven't even been to that many states. <laughs> What's your verdict on New York in the little time we've been here? Hectic, traffic, honking, occasional rude cab drivers, but the food is fantastic. Are you ready to get to Times Square, mate? Brother, I've been waiting my whole life for this. I really appreciate you joining me on the last bit. Thank you for having me. Mate, anytime, the anytime. All mine. The last stretch now, mate. What a journey this has been. Right, we're coming to the start of it now. You can see the billboards, all the lights, but it's not here. I think we need to go left here, mate. This is the yes. start of it. We're getting closer, mate. I've never seen so many TV screens and lights. We're not even there yet, no. either. Imagine being here New Year's Eve. How amazing Insane it would be. Insane that would be. Thank you for this. This is Mate, amazing. don't be silly. Right, we're getting into the main bit now. There's the main bit over there. We've got M&M &M World here. We've just got to cross this road. Ah, uh, we can cross here. Three seconds left on the lights. One second. Oh my God. It looks like the NYPD have blocked the whole thing off. It wasn't yeah. blocked off last time. There was cars driving all here. But now it's like they've blocked the whole thing off. What's your thoughts then, mate? This is it. Pretty overwhelming. I feel like I'm the tourist. Well, I mean, I am the tourist, but... Well, I can't ask you what you thought. You've already been here, but this... We've only seen, like, a little bit, even for a few hours. This is cool. This is it. We are here. This is ridiculous. Times Square. This is it. All the advertising boards all around. This is everything I've seen on TV. It's like a, a movie come to life out here. Is it what you thought from seeing it in the film? Ah, it's much bigger. It's bigger? Much, yeah. And this is just the main. There's so many things. Oh, man. This place, mate. I mean, this is a good way to end a trip in New York City. Mate, you couldn't write it, could you? But what did you think about your trip now that it's coming to an end right here in New York City? Oh, mate, don't get me wrong. I want to go to bed and have a bit of a break. But equally, I had such an amazing time. I would say the USA Monopoly though was harder than the last one. Really? Obviously, it depends where the dice go. Right, understood. But understood. this one's been longer. There's been a time zone like between oh, every, every day. flight. Yeah, yeah. There's been massive flights. Yeah, this one's been harder, I reckon. Would you do it again? 100%. <laughs> Let me have a break and I'll be back. <laughs> Tommy boy, it's been a pleasure. It's been an absolute pleasure. It has. From five years ago to now, mate. I appreciate it, Great mate. New York City, man. Times Square. Tom, it's your favorite guy, the naked cowboy. That's what I would look like if I didn't have clothes on. <laughs> Check out the naked cowboy. Looking well, man. You gotta admire your dedication in this rain. Rain drops keep bouncing off my balls. Right, well. That's the Monopoly board complete, Times Square complete. As much as I'd like to go to a few more places, I have now complete a full lap of the Monopoly board. And honestly, 
This one's been amazing. Thank you so much to everybody who follows me and watches my videos for sharing the videos, commenting. Honestly, it means so much more than you know. Don't forget, I am giving away the Monopoly board, so if you want to win that, make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment, share it, and get me on Instagram, at Simon J. Wills. From me and Tom in Times Square, New York, that's it. Any last words, mate? Hey, hey, what do you say? <laughs> See you soon.